Alrighty folks, we're going to be doing a video on a barn find. It's a Ford. I didn't even look at the year yet, but it has 49,000 miles. And we're charging the battery right now. Well, the booster's charging the battery right now. It's, I don't know if the booster's working right, right now or not. So it's been on there forever and it's not ready to start yet, but the battery might just be that dead. I don't know. But we're going to be trying to get it started, hopefully get it started. If not, bring the battery home, charge it up, or get a new battery. But the, in, the interior is, like, in great condition. So I'll show you guys right now. The only thing that's messed up is this handle right here. But everything else is perfect. Only has, like, 49,000 miles. But I'm going to let it charge or see if this booster's working right. I don't know if it is. This light's supposed to go on whenever it's ready to start or whenever it's ready to crank over. But yeah, if we can get it started, I will pick you guys up when we're getting ready to crank it over. Okay, so we got noises now. Let's see if she'll crank. Cranking. Okay, let me put a little more starting fluid in the carb. Attempt number two. Oh, she was gone for a second. Give it some more starting fluid. Attempt number three. Well, let's dump a little fuel down the carb. Attempt number three, I mean four. Oh, it was going. Oh, it was going again. It's running right now. It's dying. Let's try it again. Ah, oh, it was go. Oh, she wants to go. She wants to. We got to go and idling too low or it's just not it might need the carb cleaned i don't know for sure but i'm gonna adjust the idle and then we'll give her another shot so we can get her to idle okay so we got it running as you guys seen earlier it was idling i think i could drive it and stuff but well it wasn't idling it was running but it was idling too low or the carbs not cleaned carbs not clean enough to keep idling <clears throat> so i took turn it off um Turn the the um, uh, battery box off. Well, actually, I just turned it on and just left it charged there. But the battery box was dead, died, and I couldn't start it after I adjusted the idle screw. So then I went to get the battery charger and the, use it on the generator on the truck. 
that didn't work. Well, the battery charger doesn't have enough guts to crank it over. It would get ready. It would say ready. It would get up to 12 volts. Then you'd try to crank it, and I assume they just drop, and the charger doesn't have enough guts, or the generator generator doesn't. But we're going to pull the battery out, take it home, either get a new battery, or we're going to try... This one's not... I don't think this one's going to hold a charge. Or try to find a different battery at home and use it. Okay, it's the next day. We got our battery charged. I don't know how well it's holding a charge, honestly. I charged it up over... I had it... Left it charging overnight. I had it charging overnight. And I think it's slowly losing its charge. But we're going to hope it has enough to get it started and hopefully get it home. Okay, we got our chargers. We got our thing started. Our battery terminals tightened. We're going to try it here. It's cranking. Okay, our battery is definitely weak. We're going to pull the air cover off and give it some starting fluid and hopefully get it to fire and then hopefully it'll stay running. Okay, so it's attempt number 1000. We took the um, uh, air cover off, you can see it up there, and we gave it some starting fluid, so we'll see if it goes now. It's going. It's going way too high though, it's idling way too high. since I've worked on the car so far. Since so worked on the car. We got it out, we got it running. I think it needs carb cleaning a little bit because when you give it gas, it was stuck in there. First it was spinning out, so I just slowly let it spin and it kind of dug itself out and got it out. But I had to get a new battery because the last one was bad. And it fired right up. Just had to, you had to give it a uh, squirt a lot of starting fluid in the carb and take off the oil filter, I mean not oil filter, air filter, spray, um, uh, what's it called in there, starting fluid for ether in there and she'll fire right up, but she's running a little rough, but we got her out, this is what she looks like, she's quite the beaut, but anyways we got her running, I'm gonna end the video here, but I'll probably, I'll either make the video after I clean the inside out and get it beautiful, I got like that oil down there and stuff, and all those hat stuff, other stuff, cushions, but that's going to end the video, like, subscribe, we'll see you in the next one, peace.